Hey, what's going on, YouTube? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? It's Drank. Welcome back to Drank World. Big Drank, not the little one. Remember that? Remember that. Shout out to y'all for, you know, continuing to mess with me through this whole little rearranging situation, switching up everything, you know what I'm saying? But we're back. We got that content that you want to hear, want to see, want to talk about. And it is this Fig Community World t rail Roman Billionaires situation. If you haven't heard or seen it, t rail kind of went off during the last live that they did uh, uh, over at Back on Fig. The whole thing kind of stems from t rail being associated with Tiger, who's associated with Kylie, and now the whole Diddy situation is popping up. There's been some allegations. t rails admitted multiple times that he's affiliated with Diddy, so it's smack. So it's just kind of a weird time to, to, to be admitting your association to someone like Diddy. You shouldn't want to be associated with Diddy at all in any kind of capacity, especially right now. And t rail doesn't seem to understand that and he's just making terrible PR uh decisions at this moment but we love back on fig we other guys over there everybody learned everybody's just content this is nothing personal this is just our opinion the situation not the people situation not the people so let's get into it from all this uh, Justin's came a long way that's crazy as hell yeah he has cause it's like he has. I remember his hustle was like just give everybody that's like got a little bit of flame their first shot whoever gets on keep the keep the relationship it, you know what I mean not for sure and, and I a mean, lot of people get fucked doing that though I actually cannot figure out oh this is it yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is where I'm at. Yep. On the Andre right, uh, Truth interview. Yep. Shout out Andre Truth. This is a good yep. one. Okay, that makes sense. That is why you're true. Got it. Got it. He used to be. Got it. What? Uh, Who used to be with Andre Suicide? Truth? No, because he was one point two camera. Just. I mean, like he. I guess, I, I guess we should probably in the mix with it. Right. Definitely. Um, Here it okay. is. I, just, I, I guess we should probably just play this audio. You don't got to show Look at Brick. Look at Brick. Um, Look at Brick. Hey, <laughs> Brick is hilarious. Hey, do my boy be going at right now? Hey, I see a, a few of y'all in here too. I'm looking at my chat, man. Shout out to chat. Kylie Snipe, Kylie Snipe. Yeah, fuck with it, man. I fuck with y'all, man. If y'all ain't real back on Fig fans and y'all just fucking around and y'all just saying that, we just gonna cancel you up out my shit though. But I fuck with her. You know what I'm saying? And I fuck with that. Yeah, Kylie Snipe. You can't do nothing. You feel no, me? No, 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 T Rail, no. Oh my gosh. I, uh, oh my gosh. Fuck with that. Yeah, Kylie Star, you can't do nothing. You feel me? Niggas is roaming billionaires. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. What? T <laughs> Row, what? Man, I was over no. Here, man. I was over no. Here, man. Come on, man. Smack, snipe. Smack, snipe. Smack, Why you involved in Smack? Why you, why you involved in Smack? <laughs> The chat during this video that No Jumper did is hilarious because this nigga said back on kids. <laughs> back on kids is I crazy. I can see it because holy shit, his whole like body language and shit. The way he's gulping down the liquor and shit is just like, whoa. What the fuck just happened? Now, I would just like to make this clear. I believe in my heart of hearts and I've, I've often put this out there, but I've been accused of, well, I haven't really been accused, but I've, I've had people try to suggest that I had been intimate with somebody who was underage before. Mm. Now, nobody has ever actually provided any kind of uh, information. They've only been able to- Every time they bring that up against Adam, he like has that. a lot of excuses. Current video footage from yesterday. Yesterday. From yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> of T. Row justifying what? the fact that, that he aided and abetted a person that he was very close with dating a 16 year old. Will there be a Rico? Because that's admission to a crime. And if you pay attention, they were going back and forth to multiple different states doing that. Isn't that essentially what Diddy is getting in trouble for right now? Now, mind you, like I said, Kylie was a minor. She was 16 regardless. Now, I don't know if the whole parent signing the contract shit is gonna matter. 
I feel like that state level, when the type of things that Diddy's being accused of are federal crimes, and it seems like Tiger might have been doing that same type of thing just with Kylie. Maybe it's just with Kylie. You know, Diddy's did it with 150 million people and a thousand bottles of baby oil, but Kylie, single person, Tiger's bringing her back and forth, different states. Is that traffic? I, I don't know. He even helped bring her on a private jet. I don't know. Photographs of Tyrell on a private jet with a 16 year old. I'll tell you this hypothe <laughs> hypothesizing and thinking about something ain't snitching. Girl, girl that his friend was I'm just over here hypothesizing and thinking. And to be fair, the 16 might be, uh, might be generous because I've also seen people saying that this relationship may have started yeah. before yeah, this yeah, person. Yeah, Tyga might have performed in Rack City or her bat mitzvah. You feel he did. He he. It wasn't a might of. He did. Me, like, yeah, that's, well, where, that's, that's where they met. <laughs> I've kind of like seen it suggested that this relationship could have started before sixteen, which is really quite wild. It's but alarming. When presented with this evidence, and keep in mind, he never T left high school in his head, bro. But okay, T T Rel hasn't been cool with Tyga for no probably almost ten years. Yeah, it's been a minute. Huh? And when presented with this. His reaction is not, you know, if I put myself into like the PR guy mind state, like what, what should you say? You should basically say as little as possible. Yeah. And you should say something like, listen, I don't know what the fuck he got going on. I didn't have anything to do with it. Yeah, I'm for sure putting it all on him. For sure. <laughs> Fast. It, it's like. You know what? That's actually crazy. I, I'm reading the, I'm reading the, the, the live chat. Y'all don't see it because I have a cut off here because uh, I don't, don't want to be liable for some of the crazy shit that they say in there. But. What you scratching that dog? Sorry, my dog over here scratching. But it is crazy. Someone mentioned that Tyga thought he escaped all this heat, but because of T-Rel, uh, 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 an associate he cut ties with almost a decade ago, it's coming back into the light. That's a good lesson for everyone to learn. Your associates and what they do, you got to be careful who you associate with. You know, you got to be careful who you associate with decade down the line they could come out as a pedophile or whatever the hell and they're gonna link it right back to you the same way we're doing this right now t rel is the one who said something and we're bringing it to tiger did he's the one who has these allegations who are some of his associates i just told you t rel smacking them have been admitting that they have association with diddy which is, this is weird gang this is weird we they groom him billionaires and, and if you really dig in and you see his tweets from that time period and stuff and i would really encourage people to check out the we starving I channel really because he, he has done we, we definitely encourage a lot of very in-depth looks into what was going on comprehensive in terms, well because if you go back to his twitter from that time period and th there is a video i forget what it's called but like there's a video that tiger put out and i don't want to put this on tiger because realistically I got no problem with Tiger, but he put out a video about Kylie like a week or like two weeks after she turned 18 where he was basically like stating how in love he was with her and everything and like basically telling everybody who had a problem with him dating her when she was underage to fuck off. Yeah, I remember that. So like, man, my brain must This is our love. I either never saw that That's or just weird. didn't really like think about it at the time or didn't really get it because that shit kind of crazy and there's like quote tweets where t Rel is like, yeah, that's my boy. But that's t Rel. That's what he's going to do. That's what he does. He seems to move with the I don't give a fuck mindset. And as someone who made 15 million off his clothes, he probably can move that way. He has an elevator in his house, remember? They can't tell you shit, which is one of the craziest things I ever heard. But again, yesterday. He was riding his yarda. He was riding his yarda. He had an opportunity <laughs> to say that he didn't agree with that behavior, despite the fact that he was obviously complicit in it. And Heather and uh, Heather Sanders and t Rel were going on double dates with a 16-year-old girl. Why he out her last name like that? Now that was crazy. He didn't have to do that. We know who Heather is. He didn't have to say Heather Sanders. During this whole time period, we have that My boy authenticated to, based on his own tweets. Everybody. They were so into this whole grooming thing that they were actually going on dates, double dates with Kylie Jenner together. <laughs> Pretty crazy. That's but, nuts. But again, t Rail had the chance to disavow this, and instead he said, "Yeah, N words is grooming billionaires." billionaires. I feel like, this is just me being straight up honest, I feel like it's wrong to sleep with a 16-year-old even if 
she goes on to become a billionaire. Well, yeah, I feel like almost anyone would get that. That's that's pretty fucking obvious if you ask me. I'm not trying to be Mr. Morals or anything over here, but to me, the amount of money that they have or will go on to make is irrelevant like the, the, yeah, the power dynamics and all that that, that insinuates are just so twisted and dark i want to just give a shout out like my daughter i want to turn 16 i want to give a shout out to jay that's Electronica. crazy his daughter his is, daughter is about to turn probably 16. not 16 but like mm. getting close to that so it's yeah. kind like of shit. disturbing to think like oh would he be okay with his own i ain't talking about nobody's kids they just did i just want to put that out there they are talking about his daughter. I am commenting on what they are talking about. Daughter dating a grown ass man as long as the grown ass man had money. I, I'd like, well, that's the thing. I'd like to give a shout out to Jay Electronica who knocked him a Rothschild bitch. You feel me? One of the most powerful, richest, multi billionaire families in the world that make uh, the Jenner Kardashian empire look like peasants in comparison, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. Jay Electronica knocked one of those. She was of age and he they first to, generation billionaire. Exactly. So you got to put some respect on the Kardashians. Shouts to them. Shouts to them. With yeah. that being said, that fool Jay Elect did not have to groom anybody to get in a billionaire family. That's Shout outs to Jay Elect. Well, I mean Shout outs to Jay Elect. Shout outs to Jay Elect. Hey, listen, you guys, let me know down below what do you think about this whole situation? The whole T Rail helping Tiger groom Kylie situation. I, I think it's crazy. I personally just think T Rail needs to wrap it up. Be quiet about the whole situation right now because he's he's implicating himself and people he was around in some in some shit bro we nobody thought diddy would get arrested for like fucking <laughs> like gang like and i'm not saying that that's all he did he probably he's i don't know what's going on with that shit i'm not paying any attention to it i just look at the headlines like everybody else it's not that deep i don't know y'all having parasocial relationships with these celebrities is crazy to me but Nobody expected the type of hellstorm coming down on Diddy for just some 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 shit that everybody had been saying for years about him. You know what I mean? So it's like you bringing all of this stuff back right now, T. Rel is not helpful for anyone in the situation. Not saying that they should escape uh, if they've done bad things, but if you're one of the people who did bad things, like if you killed someone, you're not gonna go admit it on camera. That's fucking stupid. So why are you doing essentially the same thing right now? You know what I mean? People get away with bodies. People are not getting away with uh, human trafficking and shit. You, you, people are not getting away with crimes to living people, gang. Like, especially when they are admitting them on camera and they were minors, all different types of shit. You're not getting away with that. So y'all let me know down below. What do you think is going to come of this? What do you think t Rail should do? What do you think about Tyga and the whole Kylie situation as a whole? Did you have any opinion on it when it was happening? Because if you didn't, don't say shit now. Stop by the comments. Let me know what y'all think. Hit that like button, that subscribe button, turn on notifications. Let's get to that 1K. Let's get 100 likes on this video. That would be fire.